name is Michael. Hold on a second. What's your name? Michael Fontino. I was born and raised here back in 1959 in Dallas, Texas. Back in 1963, President Kennedy was assassinated downtown Dallas on the grassy knoll. Okay, now I'm going to show you the window where Oswald was supposed to be the shooter who made the shot to the president. Come up into the second window up here from the top. You go to the top and the very top and come down one. That's the second window from the top. That's what Lee Harv Oswald, the election shooter, of course, has shot President Kennedy. Okay, now the route of the motorcade. See the Red Castle looking building? That's Main Street. It was coming down Main, took a right, came down Houston, took a left, went all the way down Elm Street. Come on down, let's walk down Elm. So the motorcade would have been coming right down here, yes, right here? Yes, sir. It was coming down. Now it was going about five miles an hour when the first shot struck to hit the president in the throat, right here. And also, the governor of Texas, John Conley, he was hitting the car right here. The governor let us know the bullet went in the back of the president's neck, come out his throat, and hit Conley in the side of his wrist. That's what his favorite, the shots covered here. Okay, now you can turn around and see the view, what Oswald had. Basically, you're looking at the same view the Harbor Oswald had. The sign, the trees, basically the same. Okay, as the motorcade was coming down, no one didn't suspect nothing, but Miss Jacqueline Kenny, his wife, she suspected something, because she was looking at the president, he was slowly going down. Okay, after the president came down about a good, Eight, nine yards, the head shot occurred. Come on down. The second X in the street, the head shot. And this is where the president was hitting his head with the fatal shot at the government out of the road. I'm over, almost red. Okay, now you can turn around now and look at the view of the window. Come over here, you can see Oswald could have had a clear shot from that window, but the way the president reacted, it just couldn't have been from the back. Now the way seems strange he wouldn't have taken the shot as the car came around the corner here. He would have had a clear shot from yes, that window yes, to sir. where the car came around the corner. Yes, sir. Perfect shot, but no shot was fired there. Now, when the head shot came, the reaction the president gave us was the head went back. The shot had to come from the front somewhere for the head go back. Now, turn on around. This is all your grassy knoll over here. And you can speak of this to Grassy Knoll. You look at the wooden fence in the back here. That's the picket fence. That's the shot the governor tried to cover up on us. That was a man back here with a rifle. The Grassy Knoll witness seen that, but the Grassy Knoll witness never made the court to prove this. Just like Lee Harvey Oswald trying to prove his innocence, he never made the court. So you're not guilty until you're proven guilty in the court of law. So both of these guys never made the court. Come on up down and show you what the shooter could have been. Okay, now see them. It's something they covered up. Now see the sign here, the airport sign here. That's a little further at the end of the grassy knoll. But back in '63, the sign was on the grassy knoll, a little far back. Now across the street from the sign, you can see see the sewer drain. That's where a bullet missed. That's across the street, coming down Elm Street, the way the president was coming, across the street. That's where the missed shot occurred from, hit the sewer drain, hit the bridge. That's where the third shot missed the president. So if that shot come from the back, who knows who shot that fatal shot? Now we are walking up to the part where Abraham Zapruder, who shot the film on the grassy knoll. You can see showing the bush, and then you see the bush right there. The Abraham Zapruder was behind the bush who filmed the president's assassination. And everything I was hearing is all on the DVD, the assassination. Come on down. And we are in the back where the railroad supervisor, he was the grassy knoll witness 
on the grassy knoll that day, he was watching trains, the supervisor of the railroad. He also, he's pointing at it, the red building there, the right with the red top, the white building, that's where the railroad supervisor, that's why he, he seen the man back here running with the rifle. Now, he never testified, it's like I told you, he died mysteriously in a car wreck. That's what the government let us know about the grassy knoll witness. Come on back over here. Now, here, here go some theories where the first shot could have been presented. The man was here, made that shot to the president in the throat. Could have happened here. But the government, don't forget, they let us know the bullet went in the back, but the president never reacted from getting hit from the back. Let me take you to this shot. And this shot here where I'm standing now, this was a fatal shot. Could have been a, the best shot in the world because the way the president reacted, this is the only spot where it all match up. It doesn't match up from the window, but it match up from the picket fence, the way the president reacted. And with, if the Grassino witness would have came forward, the world probably knows the truth about the Jeff Kennedy assassination. Now I'm gonna take you to a part where the Grassino witness seen the man running with the rifle and, and maybe got away from it in a storage drain here. We're walking on down to the fence, it's the picket fence. This is the whole side. The man could have been running while the grassy no witness looking looking at him. And he him and the grassy no witness were the only two people that was back here that day on the grassy no. Okay now here is the sewer drain where they suspect they suspect the man got away from him. This is the sewer drain. Back in 63, it's different. Now, they, it used to be this. See this steel here? They changed the steel just like you can't move that. But back in 63, you can move it. Maybe he got away through the sewer drain. But all suspicion of what the man have could have gotten away from when he made that head shot. I'm going to take you to one more spot where the guy could have made the shot but he was trying to cover up the sign I was telling you about. Now we're now standing on the bridge where the, the third shot was supposed to have missed the president or the head shot could have came from this bridge. They moved the sign you see right here on the side of the grassy knoll, the sign was up a little bit further, about five or ten more yards up further. They moved the sign back here. They could have, the man could have made a shot here. They just moved the sign here just to block the X in the street where the president was struck in his head. It's not far from the sign from where the president is because the man could have been back here. But who knows? The government just let us know false information, but one day in the world, it will come out. My name is Michael. God bless. You have a blessed day.